Okay, so what we're going to start with here for uh, number 11 is we need a power series representation. So we need a power series representation for the following function. ln of 1 minus x squared. So let's go back to the power series representations uh, that we know. So we know that 1 over 1 minus x is equal to sum n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n. This one's going to help us out because when we take the antiderivative of this, we're going to get an ln term, and that's exactly what we want. So let's take the antiderivative of this. So when we do that, remember, in this case, since our x is negative, it's going to make our entire thing negative, but we're going to get ln of 1 minus x. So therefore, this is equal to, we now have n equals, so if we had, had n equals 0, we would have x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. Instead, we can just change that to n equals 1 of x to the n over n. So this function right here would have this power series. So what's different from this one to this one? Well, if we want to transform this into ln of 1 minus x squared, we need to do a couple things. First, we need to get rid of that negative sign. So if we just have ln of 1 minus x, we would have, we would just have negative of what's there. The final thing we need to do is we need to transform that x into an x squared. <clears throat> so remember, for power series, if you replace x with an x squared, you can do that in the series also. So we would have sum 1 to infinity negative. So instead of x, now we're going to be writing x squared. And x squared to the n is just x to the 2n. So we get negative x to the 2n over n. So again, that was just starting with the standard power series that we know. Thinking about how can we turn this into an ln, we have to do the antiderivative. Once we've done that, do all of your minor changes to turn this function into the exact one that we want. And we get the sum negative x to the 2n over n, which is answer choice D.